Hey YouTube, this is KSHARE22 here bringing you guys a brand new video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys what the encrypt button does. If you go to the open path, you can usually find, you can only find the usernames and passwords here. This is a non-encrypted one. As you can tell, you will be able to read it simply. There's the usernames, the uh, person's username and the person's password. Now we can go ahead and minimize both of those. And let's say the encrypt button is in, under encrypt. And we hit start and type in kshadow121 because the same username and password can't be done in a row. So then we can do a password such as password101. We can go ahead and click yes. And now what we can do is reopen it what we will see is that there's a red icon and its name is kshadow121 now we can open this up and since this one is encrypted we won't be able to read it then there's this one that we can read so this is what the encrypted button does this is what the uh, when it does when it's not checked this option is really only for k22 administrators because we have this encrypt and decrypt button up here which you normal users that we like to call like clients or customers you guys won't be able to decrypt this so really that button is no point for any user who is not a K22 administrator now if you're wondering how do I get that you really can't unless you join the K22 community uh, you can simply do this by just emailing me at kshare121 at gmail.com or kshare22 at yahoo.com. So pretty much that's all for this tutorial, you guys. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.